Uh, and then for both of you, what have you found to be your most uh, challenging moments in kind of investigating or pursuing a story or contacting or engaging with an individual? You could often ask that question. Most challenging, most dangerous, most scary, most exciting. <laughs> um, it's impossible to rank things, so you end up just kind of randomly spitting out yeah. a story that comes to mind. At that moment, and you go, oh, well, that happened, that's fine, that was fine. But um, on the whole, as you were asking it, and as I was thinking about it, most of the challenging, the really challenging things that I faced have ended up being really good. Um, uh, <clears throat> stories that have fallen down completely, and you know, I've moved on to a completely different story. That was actually turned out for the best. Um, stories where the, you know the good guy I was following turned out to be a bad guy, worked out for the best in the end. You know, it, it's it, but these things are incredibly challenging at the time, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say for me the hard things are like when, because um, the majority of the time you do have like a, um, a a brick wall blocking your emotions, so you don't truly get completely devastated by what you're making because you're quite accustomed to making quite sad stories, mm -hmm. so you have like a defense mechanism that stops you from feeling. Um, and then it's, it's the moments that you, you open up that, that defense mechanism and you actually feel pain because you actually connect to something. And it's funny because like, as human beings, we you know we we are we are affected by things that are relative to us. And I remember I was doing a thing about uh, the migrant crisis in Libya, and there was a guy who looked just like my dad, who was from Iraq, who was asking you know he was being sent to a detention centre. He just got taken off a boat, and he was crying. He was asking me to help him, and like that's when I was like, oh god. And I remember like just being so close to tears. And like they're, they're the moments that when you actually feel <laughs> the difficult yeah, yeah. moments. The majority of times you like restrict feelings and it's when you are like penetrated that it's hard yeah it's quite yeah that's what i was thinking it's like a wall and then something kind of breaks yeah. through that wall and you just ah, yeah. so, um, it's not like you didn't understand that that was painful before but you just hit you that much harder i had that with um interviewing a former child soldier <coughs> in sierra leone he was older at the time he was at 14 but he was describing what happened when he was seven and i just left my seven-year-old son at home so i'm there and he's mm. describing what it feels like to be seven and to see your father being shot and i was a bit like this is a bit too real yeah, this is yeah, whoa so. that really got me because you know he described it so fluently and eloquently that it was as if my son had grown up and was, you know i could imagine my son describing the same thing if, if it happened to me if I'm real. Uh, and his, his emotions were so raw and so real and so expected and also unexpected that you, you know it all just got you in that way where you go this is a seven-year-old speaking and i know exactly what that Mm. Um, yeah, uh, th those sorts of things. Um, again, in Sierra Leone, a father um, who just lost his whole family went to work, and a landslide came along, took his house away, and came back. And we were both standing on the spot where his house should have been, <coughs> and he was describing saying goodbye to his children again. Something that I've you know gone through a million times, and you go, wow, such a tiny little moment. And he, he was describing in detail each little thing that happened, and then. And the three-year-old cried because she dropped her toy. You know, like every tiny little thing, and you go, oh, 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 oh. I, I have that every morning. And so those are the moments here yeah, that get you. But I wouldn't say it was challenging. I mean, it, it, it's challenging at the time for you emotionally, personally, yeah. but for the film, it's probably quite a good thing. <laughs> Said like a film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at that moment. But, you know, it's important to break that wall, because yeah. when your wall is broken, that's when the audience can also potentially experience. Yeah, I mean, I'd say that's actually the hardest thing for me as a filmmaker, a journalist, is like, like, I constantly question myself, like, should I be feeling sad? Because like, sometimes, like, because yeah. you, I mean, it is, it does become like, it is crazy. I mean, you just have, you have a lot of conversation with people who have been through a lot of hard things, like, especially like, in the line of work we both do, which is, you know, it's investigative documentaries about problems. It's always a problem. So every film is about like, something bad is happening. So therefore you are repeatedly having conversations with a lot of people about bad things. And it's not like a normal thing that people do. <laughs> um, so it's like, you get to a point where you're just so used to having conversations and sometimes you do have a scenario where you're like, shit, like, should I feel sad about this? Uh, you know, I don't really know what it is. And like, and then, you, and then when you do feel sad, it all is overwhelming. So I think like, you know, it, it, it's a crazy job. Yeah, all, also in the context of filming, you know, you know what you're trying to get from an interview, you know how long you've filmed for, you know what shots you need, what questions you need to ask, because 
that certain issues need to be addressed or somebody else has said something about him, so I should put that to him, um, and so on. And so, yeah, suddenly getting emotional in the context of all of that, it's like, ah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, it throws it all throws, yeah. throws it all on. In, in Sierra Leone, I think he got me like five minutes, we got to the, to the site, and that's where my house was, and then just started doing this really detailed description of the morning, and like five minutes later, I'm in tears, and I was going, oh, shit. But it's given me the detailed description, I suppose we needed that. <laughs> but, you know, I haven't asked any of the other things yeah, yeah. that, that I really should have 